We need to make sure everybody understands how this works. Mm -hmm. Namely, this is a charity auction. Uh, you've seen that this is going to an exceptionally good cause. We don't have an infinite amount of time, and all of your auctioneers are badly hungover. <laughs> that means this is not the day to screw with us. Leave the comedy to us, please. 30 years ago, maybe it was funny to say, you know, 51, 52, 53. It's just going to piss me off. And you can ask for what happens when I get pissed off. You don't want to see it. All right, we need you to bid like you mean it. This is for an outstanding cause, and we are here to shatter all previous records. This is a voice auction. We have to hear the bid, and it's got to be a numeric bid, round numbers, American currency, please. And we need you to use your badge number at the end to identify who you are, because our people over there are going to be tabulating and doing things with the badge numbers, yes. not your name. I'd like to ask if you are in, if you are intending to bid on anything. Sorry. What? Oh, social distance, gentlemen. No, it's because the microphones. Oh, he's saying the microphones together are doing that. Okay. Okay. So I'm saying social distancing. <laughs> yes. We're good. Okay, if you intend to bid, please don't sit in the back row. I'm old. I won't hear you. Come up here. Yes, we are social distancing, but there's still plenty of space, so please move forward, get close so we can hear your bids. Again, let's not mess around with the bids. The comedy shows were last night. We are here to raise money. Once you have put your bid in and you've bid like $600 or something like that, one or all of us are going to say going once, going twice, and at some point, we're going to say sold. And as soon as we say sold, as soon as you get the ooh out of our throats here, uh, that item is now sold, and you have made a contract with us. To that end, you know, this is what happens when it lawyers into the fandom. If you are under the age of 18, you may not bid. In the but your office. parent can bid for you. Your parent can bid for you, especially if you're spoiled and you get everything that you want. We like that. <laughs> but I hate to say, kids cannot bid because they cannot enter into that contract. Thank you, Boozy, I said it for you. Uh, by the way, uh, I am not a lawyer, neither am I your lawyer, and if you, uh, you know the oh Yes, yeah, it's me. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna get started. Okay, we're gonna get started now. Everybody understands, oh, uh, the forms of payment that they take are? You may take cash. There is also an electronic payment available, but all payments must be made at the table to the right side of the theater to the right side of that screen. There's a nice little table, some very friendly, happy faces that will gladly take money from you. If you want to make an electronic payment, we do have an electronic payment system over there. So they will be able to do that for you. But if you have cash, they will gladly take that as well. If you don't have enough cash, but it's in your bank account, they will take it from your bank account through the appropriate electronic means. Yes, sir. At the end of each bid, unless you plan on buying like three or four very large items, you may do an aggregate at that point, but they're still going to have to tabulate each item individually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do want to point out that when the auction's over, there's likely going to be a line. So it's to your benefit, if it's, you know, there's something you're not bidding on, you can tiptoe over there and maybe pay for it. That way you don't have to wait in line at the end. We are going to make one last comment. Again, because the Care Foundation could not bring the animals, their donations are down. If you would like to be generous and help offset that, you may make a donation or you may bid a little higher on certain items. We are here to raise money for them. They are down. We're going to try to bring that back up right now. Yes. Okay, now we can start. Right. Item number one is Alkali's got them in his hands. It is a collect. I'm just going to read the, des the description because there's not, it's, it's two things that have been put together. Yeah. That's, our, that's our show people. Brother. That's our show people okay. camera. Yeah, we, we got a social distance, but you can yes. show them in that camera. We think it's that camera. This, this is a combined lot of Disney pins. Well, apparently it's not that camera. <laughs> it's this camera over here. Nope, now it's behind you. No, it's that one. They just changed it. Yeah, it's fixed. Yep. It's very early. <laughs> it is, but it's behind you. There we go. This is a lot of six Disney pins of a furry theme. Two Disney pins feature Robin Hood and Little John. There's also a pin featuring Nick Wilde that says Sly Guy. There is a pin with otters that says Cuddle Party. There is a pin of the Beast that says Beast. And there is a fourth pin 
that is, show the fourth pin, there it is, right there, but that's peace. The other one is actually from The Lion King. It is Simba getting a bath from his mother, and he's saying, Mom, you're messing up my mane. All, all six of these pins are genuine Disney pins. They came from the theme parks. Two of them are event specific, meaning that they are of very limited origin. You cannot just get them. You either have to go to the park to get them on an event day, or you have to buy them online at an extremely inflated price. If you're gonna pay an inflated price, we would rather you do it here. <laughs> Uncle Kage, please auction these items off. Okay, here's how it works. We're going to start out with a modest opening bid of $20. $50. And somebody immediately shouts 50 And that's good. But he's done that to scare you all. <laughs> Don't be scared. Oh, I know. <laughs> 70 again. We got to hear it. So you got to be real right. Thank you very much. 75. 75. 100. Uh, I have 200. Spite it out. 105. 105. 120. 120. I have 120. I have $120. Just a reminder, the two Robin Hood and Little John pins are event-specific pins. You cannot just go to the theme parks and buy them. One of them is from this year's Food and Wine Festival. Why? 150. Oh, sorry, 150. Yes, I just got distracted. 160. We have 160. We have $160 for all four pins. We have 160. This is where the tension gets built. I say 160 going once. 165. 180. I have 180. You couldn't see the sneer under that thing, I can tell. I have 180. I have $180. All four pins at $180, we have going once. I have all four pins at 180 going twice. Sold, $180, and your badge number, please. One more time. 2102. A uh, quick favor, by the way. Love it when people applaud afterward. Hold the applause for about eight seconds while we get the badge number. Then you can go wild. Okay. We have another item up for bid, and it matches your lab coat. Oh, does it like disappear now? It does. Well, it will make you disappear because it's fluffy. Okay. This is a, a plush tiger throw. It is 50 inches by 60 inches. It is nice and soft and fluffy. It is wonderfully warm. It will keep you warm on cold nights. It says it's soft. soft, warm, and durable. That's Just something like tigers. I was going to say so. Hukukagi, would you please find this a home for us? I could find a home for it, but. but I, yes, finding a home. Yes. Uh, I want to keep it. Okay, what all he said, it's soft, warm, and cuddly. We can start over again. Now you guys know how it works. We can start at 120. Oh, so 120. We can start at 20. Make it 120 if you want. I look for 20, I have 30. I have 30 in the front. We have 30. I have 40. I have 40 back here. I have 40. I have 40 dollars. This, okay, maybe warm and cuddly doesn't work in Florida, but honest, it's soft. <laughs> we have 40 dollars. I have 40 dollars for the tiger throw, the only time you'll be able to throw a tiger. I have 40 dollars. Going once. 50. 50, I have 50 now. 60. We have 60. I have 60 dollars. I really want to keep this. I have 60. No, I'm not allowed. The auctioneer's not allowed to be. I have $60. Yeah, Boozy told me that one too. I have 60 going once. I have 60 going twice. Sold 62 badge number. Lou. 258. 258. Thank you. Come on, Tiger. Okay, we have another wonderful item. We're going to put this on the camera first, and then we're going to allow it to go into your wonderfully waiting hands. Well, is it Alko I gotta help? He is, but he's doing lots of other things too. Okay. See? okay. But Alkali can hold it. This is an action figure, Beast of the Mesozoic Spicelosaurus. What? It is a Spicelosaurus. I'm actually in educating you. Sorry? It is a dinosaur type critter. It is mint in box. It is. It is very, very interesting looking, and it has a manufacturer's retail value or a suggested retail price of forty nine ninety nine in store if you can find them. 
I thought it was like a Spice Girl dinosaur or something. <laughs> but it, that's what it that's is. what's called Old Spice. <laughs> All right, but that is the object. Uncle Kage, would you like to, to find this wonderful little dinosaur at home? We're going to start the bidding again, since this is a collector's item in its condition. You're not going to find it. We know what it's sold for in the store. We're going to start there. We're going to start the bidding at $50. Looking for you dinosaur fans out there for the spicy ceratopsian. We're looking for $50. No toy collectors out there. You guys are normally jumping up and down. I have 50. I have 50 to the guy with the ears. I have 50. How is that real? I don't know. It's just, I panicked. It was the first thing came to mind. <laughs> I have 50. I have $50. $50 for the Spice Girlosaurus here. Whatever. I have $50. I have 50 going once. Good heavens. Everybody loves dinosaurs. I have 50 going twice. Sold for a spicy 52 badge number 2349. Anyway, do me a favor right now, look at your badge and memorize the number. What was that number again? 2349. All right, we have another item that Alkali is actually going to show off for us. It is a 12 pack of hot sauce. So Alkali is now going to be our spicy daddy. Should have gone along with it. Never mind. But this is a 12 pack of un it's unopened hot sauce. I could not see what the name of that is, but it is delicious hot sauce. But you need to see the label on them. Yes, put the label up on the camera, Alkali, and then walk it around the room. Oh, my spicy daddy. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I am not going to say it. I'm not good, and I'm not good. <laughs> because if I were to call Alkali that, somebody would catch a video of it, and it would wind up on Twitter, and no, no. Every time! Yes. <laughs> okay. Anybody out there who loves spicy hot things? $42 worth. I have 50. 60. 65. I have 60, I have 65. 75. What? 75. 75. Again, if you say something and it sounds like a number to me, I'll hold you to it. <laughs> I have 75. I have 75. 84. 84. I'll take 84. I have 84. Like I said, leave the comedy to us. I have 84. 90. 90. I have 90 dollars. And this is a 12 pack, is it? Burnt asshole! That's what this is! It's a giant box burning asshole! <laughs> 90 was that, I believe? Yes? I have $90 for all of the heat your body can take. I have $90. I have 90 going once! $100! I have 100 I have $100. One hundred dollars for hours of... How much? Agony. Uh, 125? 125 now. I have 125. 125. We've 125 going once. 125 going twice. Sold 125 to number. Uh, I have a date pass, and I can use the number here. Yes. Ed. Yeah. Something. 34350. 34350, was it? Yes. Thank you so much, sir. We have a special item for all our artist friends coming up for auction. Do we have artists here? Do we have any artists in the audience? Do we have anybody who has friends of artists in the audience? We have an assortment of Artix markers. It's actually the name, Artix. Kind of like Copic markers, but they're not. Uh, they are normally about $3 a piece, and there are a very large number of them in a zippered container. I would venture to say there are probably about, there are over 25. There might be as many as 50. We'll have someone count them. But it's a variety of colors. hundred of them? Metric. Someone between 50 and 100. I can't tell the number. There's a, it's a, it's a lot. We have a lot. A sea urchin of color. And these are uh, tactical markers, what are they called? They're called Artex. Artex, Artex markers. Okay. You yeah, but I, I'm old. What do you want? Okay. Starting 100. It's what? Starting 100. 100. Okay, we'll start at 100. I have 120. I have 120. I have 120 for all of that. Every color of the rainbow and some that haven't even been named yet. I have $120. I have 120. 
all dem markers and the convenient carrying case. I have 120. I have 120 going once. I have 120 going twice. 140. 140. 140. That was close. I have 140. I have 140 for all of it. I have 140 of all those tasty markers. Covered with hot sauce, or that, no, that. I'm getting confused, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, 140 for these, I have 140. I have 140 going once. breakfast before you do these. No, 140 going twice. 145. 145. 150. 150. Oh my god. I have 150. Show strength, don't jump to the clipsy weakness. Yeah, just do. I have 150. I have $150. I have $150 going once. I have $150 going twice. Sold $150 to number... 757. 757. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Put the package. We have no idea what it is. We have no idea what it is. It's a furry mystery box. Okay. The furry mystery box is donated by the booth, Furry Mystery Box. This is one of the last at the entire convention. There are no more. It does have the marking of extra large on it, which makes us think there is probably a t-shirt inside. Okay. But there could be other things, but we don't know what they are. Oh, so it's a furry mystery box. It's marked extra large, and you think it's a t-shirt. Maybe. It could be some, well, the t-shirt could be one of the items inside. There are normally multiple items inside. You sweet, sweet summer child. Yes. It is probably, it's probably a t-shirt. It could be a baseball cap of extra large size. All the things that could be extra large that you could buy in the dealer's room, like t-shirts and fun things like that, in the furry mystery box. It could be anything extra large. Come on, take a chance. Yes. We're going to start the bidding at $20. 25 30 I heard 40 50, I have 50 60 60 $60 for the furry mystery box with something that is extra large inside. Seven. Oh, I got him. 70 <laughs> I have 70 for the furry mystery box. Extra large. I have 70 90, I have 90 back here. There it is, there it is, 90. I have 90. I have 90. I have 90 going once. I have 100. 105. 105, the man with the mask. I have 105. 110. 110. I have 110. I have 110 going once. $110 in the very mystery box. Extra large. Going twice. Sold $110 to number 2100. Oh, this looks like that game show the other day. Yes. I was wearing well, Uncle, Uncle Kage, what we have here is an assortment of Disney t shirts. I'm a hanger. No, you're a dress dummy. We have an entire box of assorted Disney shirts. There are lots of them in here, so you can share them with your friends. You can give them away as gifts. You can put them on fursuiters. Some of these are triple extra large, so there's a lot of them in here. All are triple extra large, so they're all fursuit size. I'm fursuit size? You are fursuit size for a very small fursuiter. Thank you. <laughs> That's so kind of you. I know. So, okay. Okay, are we 100% are we sure that alkali isn't like some guy in the fursuit? There are to be. <laughs> Well, hold on, there is enough fur coming out right about here, but um, no, just to keep things moving, we're gonna, we're gonna have someone take home all these wonderful Disney t-shirts. All at once. All at once. Okay, all these wonderful dress dummies up here showing you these amazing t-shirts. There's a lot of them. We're gonna start the bidding at $50 for this entire lot. I heard 100. I have 100. I have $100. I have 100. Did I hear a bid? I have $100. Again, if you say something, don't make it sound like a number. <laughs> I have $100 for the entire lot of t-shirts in very, very large. can fit over a fursuit or over whatever you want it to. Uh, yes. 
Some of these, I am told, are cast member exclusives. You cannot just walk in and get these unless you work there. We have $100. I have $100 going once. $100 for all of these shirts, including cast member exclusives, going twice. Sold $100 to number... 2542. 2542. Thank you so much. This next one, I'm actually going to let Uncle Kage just show up because it has to do with Godzilla. It's a chibi Zilla. It is. It is a Funko Pop Godzilla figure. It is model number 1017 for those of you that collect Funko Pops. It, it is the most adorable destructive force of nature you are ever going to see. Has it been up in front of the camera? It's not yet, but we, oh, we you, you, you got it, you got it. Another camera. Long camera. It's like, oh, look, he's slaughtering hundreds of people. He's so cute. It's like, oh, th th this is the sweetest, most winsome way of getting radiation poisoning you'll ever experience. Stop holding the murder machine. We have this adorable chibi Godzilla in the, the, the current era style. It's, uh, uh, I believe it's the most recent Godzilla vs. Kong style of Godzilla. We're going to start the bidding at all of the dollars again. 20. 50. I have 50. 60. I have 60. 60 for Shokaiju Godzilla. 100. 100. I have $100. $100. I have a hundred. I have one hundred dollars. I have a hundred dollars for Chippy Zilla. I have one hundred going once. I have one hundred going twice. So one hundred dollars to number two six five five. This next item is actually a little difficult to see. We'll put it on the camera, but we're gonna have someone like Alkali walk around with it. This was donated to us by Illumis Cyberware. How many of you know who Illumis Cyberware is? They make nice glowy things. What this is, this was specially created bought for Megaplex by Illumis Cyberware from Leicester, United Kingdom. It is a laser cut cyberpunk style key card. Lester, I'm sorry. Lester, United Kingdom. It's a laser cut cyberpunk key style card ID holder with a halo finish featuring the Megaplex corporate logo. This was cut for, specifically for Megaplex. It does not exist anywhere else and may not be purchased anywhere else in the world. It is made out of plexiglass or lysan, I think they're... Uh, like like it is plexan. Okay, okay. so oh, it's, it's... It's megaplexan. It's megaplexan. It's, it's clear plastic, <laughs> but it's very thick. If you want to touch it or tap it, Alkali can bring it up to you so you can see just how solid it is. Yes. But Uncle Kage, this is a very unusual item. What do you think we should start the bidding at for this? Okay, considering not only the artistry, but the rarity of this, we're going to start at a $50 bid for this. $100! I'll make it $100. We're going to start. We'll make it 200 I think we'll start with 200 Yes. I have 200 I have 250 300 I have 300 I have $300 for everything that KP said. I have $300 for the Megaplexan uh, light up cool stuff. Oh, it, and it's, it's an a wooing license, oh boy. Yes, it is an a wooing license. Oh boy. All right. I have 300. We didn't know that, did we? We have $300. Yes, you are. License. 320. I, 350. This is it. 400. 450. We have 450. License to a woo. All the way from Leicester, the UK. I have 450, I believe. I have 400. Who had that 450? You did. Okay. I have 450. I have 450. $450 going once. License to a woo. Don't you wish you had it? Oh, 475. 500. I have 500. Thank you very much for bids like that. We appreciate yes. that. Oh, we're not even done yet. Oh, I know. I just say we appreciate it. 
I have $500 for the light up license to a woo all the way from Leicester in the UK. I have, and it's Megaplex Sand. I have $500. I have $500 going once. I have $500 going twice. Sold, $500 to number 2634, 2634, that one. Maurice, we have something that might interest you to demonstrate. It's a fursuit ear tag. It is Megaplex fursuit ear tag number one. Do we want to hang it on here? We're gonna, I'll do it, but it's going to keep the safety plastic on. Okay. Okay, just as long as it doesn't then run out of the room. Keep yes. an eye on it. It's it is a, it is a fursuit ear tag donated by Wonder Dog. It is tag number one. It has Megaplex 2021 on the back. From Wonder Dog. Hey, what? It, it, it get it because... <clears throat> Sorry, I, I'm just trying too hard. Yes, the, the very, very popular, adorable ear tags that started out as a migration study in Anthrocon that swept through the fan. This is Megaplex ear tag for this year. Number one. We're going to start the bidding at 50 for that. All you fursuiters out there who want to be number... What? I have 60, that is. I have 60. I have 60 for gear tag number one. I have 100. I have $100. We have $100 for ear tag number one. I have $100. Again, it's the only one of its kind. I have $100 going once. I have $100 going twice. Oh, 125. The vocal cords were ready and they did not vibrate. I have $125. Ear tag number one, Megaplex 2021. I have $125. I have a bit of $125. I have 125 for the ear tag going once. I have 125 for the ear tag going twice. Sold. 125 dollars to number. A B crew. A B crew. <laughs> That's a funny number, but we'll take it. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well, Horatio. Was that not brilliant? Yes. No, it was not. This, this next item of permits is a fursuit partial of an otter with a fiche. Oh. Reese, you may not have the fiche. <laughs> but this was donated by Dragon Wolf and Re. It is a blue and green otter fursuit partial. Comes with feet, hands, head, little tail, and the fiche. In, in ordinary times, I would put it on and model it, but in these days of uh, mass and such, we're not going to do that. Besides, I could never be this adorable. Look at it. And it comes, as he said, with the fish. <laughs> what is on my head? The fish. The fish. <laughs> wow. Um, we're going to start the bidding at $100 for this Otter Partial. Uh, how much? 200. 200. 500. 500. Whoa. <laughs> And fury. <laughs> I have five hundred dollars. Look at this face. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> I have five hundred dollars. Five ten. Five ten. I have five ten. Five fifty. Five fifty. I have five hundred fifty. I have five hundred fifty dollars for the otter partial and his fish. Hello. It does. That, it, it, is that in here? Wow. Did, did we know this was in here? It, 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 it. KB? Yes. There's a bonus in here. There's a bonus? It was in the bag. It comes with the bag. Hell, I'll include it. Yes, it's included. It's included. What is it? Hold up. Hold it up to the camera there. It's a nudist. <laughs> Anubis, sorry. It's um, Anubis. I didn't hear him right. We have an Anubis pin. Apparently, it is a dragon scales pin. Apparently, this otter comes from ancient Egypt. 
<laughs> we still have 550 with the hidden bonus we didn't even know about. I have $550. 575. It's a fish from it's a fish from the Nile. It is. You, uh, oh, damn it, you beat me to it. <laughs> I have 575. I have 575. Going once. 575. Going twice. You can't get a first suit partial without price retail. <laughs> Sold $575 to the lady having the coronary. This number is. 1083, uh, take a deep breath, take a deep breath, you'll be fine. 1083, why don't you just keep this here? You can pay for it when you've gotten your, your, Whew, okay. Our next item of permits is for all our art lovers and animation lovers. Oh. This is a, a production animation cell from the 1980s Disney, or excuse me, uh, George Lucas, Ewoks cartoon. This is a production cell from the Ewoks cartoon of the 1980s. We may not Down burn there. it, but it's fluffy. So it is an actual production cell. This actually was. This is not a, a reproduction or a limited edition. This actually was used to uh, do the show. You can actually see because it has the registration marks on the bottom along with the key number. And the animator's coffee stain at the top, Probably. apparently. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you can tell it's a production but, uh, set. Alkali, because you have hands, it's supposed to pause. I'm going to let you hold this so it doesn't get damaged. Any more than the coffee stain. That's, that's part of the production you, process. That's how you know it's real. Um, again, this is th this is not the kind of thing that you just walk into a store and, and, and buy. Uh, we're starting the bidding at $100 for this. I have 120 uh, is it signed and numbered, or is it, it just is, production? It is numbered? registration numbered. It is yes. not signed. Uh, but well, actually, it is. The, uh, we have initials have a, at the bottom. We have initials? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then it has a registration initial from the, the, the blue pencil animator, which would be one of the cleanup animators. Was it the cleanup animator that spilled, spilled the coffee? coffee? <laughs> Probably. Uh, I'm sorry. I believe we had 120. So, okay, I have 120 dollars. Keep in mind, this is 40 years old. I have 120, oh, 150, I believe. I have 150. I have 150. 175. Again, if there's side channels trying to keep it down, I'm having trouble. Not only am I having trouble hearing the numbers, every time I say a number, it comes back to me in the back of the room, and then and sometimes the mic cuts out. I have 175. I have $175. I have 170. I have 180. I have 200. I have what? I heard 200. Shit. I have 200. I have 200 dollars in the front row. I have 225. I have 225. I have 225. Hey. Mm. Uh, two thirty. No, two. No, no, two. No, two thirty. I have two thirty. Must be time to go to the dentist. I have two hundred thirty dollars. Sorry. I have two. I'm hungover. What do you want? I have two thirty. I have two thirty. Nobody stopped me last night. I have two hundred thirty dollars going once. I have two thirty. You think I stopped then? No. I have two thirty. Going once, two hundred thirty dollars for this lovely production sale. Going twice, sold two hundred thirty to number four twenty-three. You, you, you sure? Uh, I can see, I can see somebody here going. Oh, I'm gonna smack him when he gets. <laughs> Up for auction next. We have a collection of T-shirts from Megaplex. This is a group of collectors t-shirts from, vintage collectors t-shirts from prior Megaplex conventions. You will get a triple extra large of the 2014 Candy Factory t-shirt, art done by the wonderful Tani Darial, the 2015 Cops and Robbers theme convention, 2017 The Wrath of Khan uh, convention, 2018 The Fernesian Islands, and 2019 the Great Escape was the last convention held prior to this one. All of these are triple extra large. 
and they are all authentic and genuine. They are all Megaplex Conventions t-shirts. Two hundred! Uncle Kagi, you have someone screaming money at you. Two hundred! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Two hundred! That was quick. We're gonna start at two hundred. I'm so good at picking opening bids. We, oh my god, I'm sorry, that's just so adorable. I have two hundred. I have two hundred dollars for all of these shirts. Size for a generous person or for a fursuit, whichever. I have two hundred dollars. Uh, they are triple X large, I believe, yes. I have two hundred dollars for the lot. I have two hundred. I have two hundred dollars going once. I have two hundred going twice. Sold two hundred dollars to number to number 1817. 1817. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, Japanese textbooks for learning the language of Japanese. It is written in English so that you have like study guides and then it teaches you how to pronounce and write Japanese. There are two levels, first level and second level. They are brand new. They even smell new, so they haven't been to this con before. <laughs> they smell brand new. But you can learn to speak and write basic Japanese. We're, we're educational here. Not only do you learn about animals, you learn about how to speak Japanese. It, it actually looks like a very, very well-made lesson. It's, uh, damn. I, I just finished till 50, I'll show them. 50! <clears throat> there are two of them. There are two of them. 60! I have 60. 70! I have 70 here. And 75! I have 75! I have 75! 100! 100! Any party plans to go to JMOF? These would be great for they you would. to have. I have $100 for both volumes. I have $100. I have $100, which is roughly 10,000 yen. I have $100. 120 over here. I have 120. I have 120. <laughs> I have 120. Just look at this. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Seriously, seriously. 120. I have $120. I have 120. I have 120 for both volumes of Japanese learning. I have 120 going once. I have $120 going twice. So, 120 to number. 2580. This would be a good time to... 2582. 2582. Yeah, these got to be really loud for the old deaf guy in the front. Uncle Kaye, we have an incredible item up for auction now. Uh-huh. It's even doubly incredible. Uh-huh. It's the Incredibles. Yeah. Uh -huh. these, are, these are action figures from The Incredibles 2. It's Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl. <laughs> and they are mint in box. I said Elastigirl. I just I have a little bit of. I have a little bit of. Little bit of the We're all hungover, yes. <laughs> okay, it's incredible. We're gonna start the bidding at oh, twenty dollars just to generate it. Let's see. I start with a low bid, and you guys pump on it normally. <clears throat> Toy collectors out there, this is in its original box. I'm looking for an opening bid of twenty dollars for the Incredibles. I am looking for an opening bid of $20. 20. I have 20. You're so incredible! Yeah. We didn't see that coming. I have to... That's what I'm missing! What? I didn't have coffee this morning. I couldn't figure it out. Somebody will get me a cup of coffee, please. If you could, I'd be very grateful. Uh, sorry, uh, we're at 20. 20 ticks. Epiphany, that's why I feel like shit. Uh, so bad. <laughs> They could get Elastigirl. It's a stretch to get her. Oh. Somebody pay ten dollars more so that we don't do any more of these jokes. <laughs> I what have was 20. it? I have a twenty dollar bid. I have twenty going once. 
How much? 40. 40. I have 40. I have $40. I have $40 for Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl. I have $40 going once. $40 going twice. Sold $40, I believe, to AV Crew. AV Crew. AV Crew. Brother of Jay. We have another clothing item, but this one is not a triple extra large. This would be for the smaller folk in the audience. We have a series of four small Disney Cruise Line t-shirts. Oh, it's a small lot. There are three X's. Okay, so they're not for the kids. They're just not writing it all out on here. It says small Disney Cruise Line. That's what it said. So that it's not my fault. That's my story, and I'm going to stick to it. These are a group of four Disney Cruise Line t-shirts. These cannot be purchased in the theme parks. You must go on the Disney cruise ships in order to get them. People will think that you have been everywhere around the world during the pandemic. <laughs> Don't wave that red one around. There's a bull that might be coming out sorry, of the audience. Sorry, my man, stay still. Oh, it's, it's a koala today. He's okay. Oh, good, He's not going to charge. There he is. But we have four Disney Cruise Line t-shirts, size triple extra large. Hey, hey guys, check it out. We're on VR chat. <laughs> Starting the meeting at twenty dollars for all four of these shirts. How much? Forty. I have forty. I have fifty over here. Sixty. I have sixty. I have sixty for all four shirts. They are in the triple extra large size. I have sixty dollars. I have sixty dollars. I have sixty. All four shirts. Sixty dollars. I have sixty dollars for all four shirts. Sixty going once. I have $60 going twice. Sold $60 to number 2660. 2660. Thank you. All right, we have a very special donation that came straight from the Care Foundation. Ooh. And they specifically wanted you to auction this item off. They Aww. heard you were coming and they donated this especially for you. Hold out your hands, please. Do I have to close my eyes? No, you can just hold out your hand. Yes. It's a shake weight. <laughs> I am not kidding. The Care Foundation really did donate this, and Uncle Kagi has to auction off an authentic, as seen on TV, shake weight. Does anybody not know what this is? <laughs> I think Uncle Kagi must demonstrate this. Don't you think so? If you wish to get into better health, if you want to build your body, if you want to look like Uncle Kage in his pristine, very svelte self, because he has lost a little weight, <laughs> you must use the shake weight. That is the most expensive shake weight I've ever seen. I have a hundred dollars. I'll keep doing that because it actually feels... How much? I have a hundred here. I have a one hundred dollar bid. Thought I heard... I think I'm hearing my own echo from the back of the room. I have one hundred dollars. Do you know what's going to happen if this goes on YouTube? You're going to have to change, you're gonna have to change hands. It's okay, I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> I just want to keep doing this a while. Sorry, we have a hundred dollars for this piece of... History! Yes, history, that's what we'll call it. Television history. Yes, for this piece of history. I have a hundred dollars going once. It was actually kind of fun. <laughs> I have a hundred... <laughs> I have, it's just such a natural motion. I have a hundred dollars going once. I have a hundred dollars going twice. You know, a smarter person would use their Fitbit hand, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Two-way works, throw it five or six. <laughs> we start that again. I have a hundred dollars going once. I have a hundred dollars going twice. Oh, sold for a hundred dollars to number two one four five. 
And this was your idea, I knew it. I think I keep a cigarette right now. I was going to say, or do you, do you just feel a lot better? I just feel a lot better. Oh, God bless you. Does that Coffee. Good? The next item up for bids was donated by Megaplex Programming Department. This is a certificate that will allow you, plus three others, to lead the Sunday Night Fursuit Parade. Whoa. You will be the leaders of the, of the Sunday Night Fursuit Parade if you get this item. The certificate will allow one person plus three guests to be able to lead the parade. What? One hundred dollars. One twenty. Kage, they're trying to throw money at us and you're drinking coffee. I don't think could get... One hundred and twenty so far. One twenty. One fifty. You're doing great. You don't need me. We have one fifty. Two. Two hundred, I guess. I have two hundred. I have two hundred dollars for the opportunity of leading the Sunday Night Fursuit Parade. I had, can they lead them anywhere they want to? <laughs> I don't know. There is a swimming pool out there. Yeah. Crap. I have two hundred dollars for this lovely opportunity. I have two hundred dollars. Infinite loop them, just go in a circle. <laughs> this is the parade that never ends. ends. I have two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars is going once. Bedroom's off limit. Mm. Two hundred dollars going twice. Not in an infinite loop. <laughs> so two hundred dollars to number. Um. Um. Wow. Number number sixty. Two five six zero. Yes, sir. Two five six zero. Yes. Okay. Were you aware that at Megaplex 2021, there actually was a physical con book available? Oh, what? However, what? it was only available for purchase in the con store because it was a limited run print. This item has been donated by the staff of Megaplex. It is one of the few. What? That's not what it is. That's not what, not it, what it is. What is it? A writing anthology. I thought it was a comic book, but it's a writing anthology. But it was only available for sale in the con store. So if you wanted it, you had to get it in from the con store. I don't believe there are many of them left. There are signatures from artists like Golden Druid, and I can't read that, but I'm going to... It, it, it's if you did it up, it could be anybody's signature yeah. that you want it to be. It's Fluffy Poofukins. Um, yes. The signatures of the authors. See, he said the artists. Jeffrey Coffey. It's a signed, it's a signed anthology. Why don't we just give him the microphone? <laughs> it's a signed anthology. A signed have. anthology, an anthology of furry stories that also has a very sexy captain on the front, I might want to add. <laughs> it's very, very nice. Show the picture of the captain again. Yeah? On the cover. Yes. Look at that. It's like, come sail with me. And just remember, the captain always goes down with this. Anyway, we're going to start the bidding of this signed anthology of furry stories at $20. I believe I heard 30. I have 30. I have 35. I have ooh, lots of 40s. 50. 55. I have 55. 60. 65. 65. 70. 75. 75. 80. 80. Mr. Q, 80. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I have 80. I have 80 dollars. For this signed anthology of furry stories signed by the authors who are indeed artists. I have 80 dollars. I have 80 dollars going once. I have 80 dollars going twice. Sold eighty dollars to number two eight nine. Got you early. Okay. Next item of bids is a collection of stories of the horror genre, Ooh. but appropriate for children. It is a horror stories for children by Darren, and I want to make sure I pronounce the last name correctly. It's Darren Sean. Not Shan, it's Sean. It says on the side, one boy's terrifying journey from human to half vampire to vampire prince. It is the entire anthology and saga of this story, written by Darren Shan. 
Cirque du Freak, specifically. Cirque du Freak. It's, no, this is, these are books. Yeah. It is a written anthology. It is not video. Yeah, we used to have to, like, read things. <laughs> so we have... a light in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. Well, he grew up with wolves who have books. Are you done? Never. I didn't think so. <laughs> we have the Cirque du Freak anthology with that lovely spying collection there. We're going to start the bidding at, ooh, all the 20. 25. 25? I have 30. 35. 35. 40. 40. It's barely got the retail price on it from that bid. Just barely. I have 40. I have $40 for the Cirque du Freak collection. I have $40. 50. I have 50. We have $50. We have $50 for all of Cirque du Freak. I have $50. I have $50. I have $50 going once. $50 going twice. But, well, there was an enthusiastic bid. Oh, shit. 55 I guess I'll take it. It's 55 <laughs> But 60, a little more enthusiastic, 60. I, I have 60. I have 60. I have $60 going once. I have $60 going twice. Sold $60 to number... Number 2574. 2574. Sold the pocket. For this next item, do you remember that wonderful license to a woo from Illuminated Cyberware? How could I forget? Well, that was a one-of-a-kind item, but we have a one-of-a-kind item that's a companion piece to it. Uh -huh. It is not a license to a woo. Uh -huh. You're ready to pounce on this. It's a license to Mew. It is the feline side of the same badge. That's with what it is. The, with the Megaplex logo on it, it is also one-of-a-kind. Laser etched on Plexan, it's illuminated, but instead of saying a license to a woo, it says license to Mew. I do not know of any other item that says license to Mew on it, other than this one. I also have never in my entire life known a cat who gave a damn whether it was licensed or not. <laughs> but now it's legal, this is a mewing license. Convention ever. You can start at 50 for this. I have 50. I have 70. 80. I have 200. I have 200. I have $200 for the license to Mew. 250. I have 250. Remember this comes 300. This comes all the way from Leicester in the UK. 320. I have 320. 350. 350. For the Megaplex and license to Mew. I have 350. I have 350 going once. I have $350 going twice. So $350 to number 2652. Mew. Okay. Well, the next item coming up for bids right here at the Megaplex charity auction, yeah. it's another Funko Pop Godzilla figure, but it is the Heat Ray edition. Ooh. It is number 1018 in the Funko line. It is Godzilla with little blue eyes getting ready to shoot fire heat beams out at you. He is adorable. He is adorable. You could die by the cutest death ever. And it just, okay, you guys, you weren't there, but if this camera can uh, can pick this up. Yep, uh, there it is. This, that is exactly what Alkali looked like last night. There is apparently an actual little heat ray in the box. There is. There is, apparently. Oh, there is, there is. A, you, you can actually attach the, the heat ray. To Godzilla. <laughs> and oh. it'll be puking radioactivity. It's Godzilla with a heat ray. No, oh, it's Godzilla. <laughs> Show Kaiju Godzilla! 60! I have $60. $60 for the tiniest, most adorable Kaiju. I have 60. Barfing radioactive isotopes all over your desktop. These things happen. 
works. <laughs> Sorry, I... <laughs> You're right. No, I, I'm, I used to be fluent in dub Japanese, but I'm out of practice. I have sixty dollars. Sixty dollars for Godzilla. I have sixty. I have sixty dollars. I had said the spirit of Eiji Tsuburaya is going to kung fu me to death tonight. I just know it. I had sixty dollars. I have sixty dollars going once. I have sixty dollars going twice. Sold sixty dollars to number two six two three. Two six two three. Okay, our next item is another item donated from the Care Foundation. Uh oh. <laughs> now this is not an uh oh. This is an oh. oh. Okay. This is a glass, an etched glass mug, handled mug that says Care Foundation on it. It also contains a T-shirt, or really a tank top that was actually worn by one of the little foxes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, That's why I said this is an oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was apparently worn by one of the little foxes. Yes. Because it's got some chewed holes in it. It does. But, but this it's is a- It's got holes chewed in it. This is a tank top that was actually worn by one of the Care Foundation animals, one of the little foxes during a dress up period. But with it, you actually get what Alkali is holding in his hand. It is an etched glass Pint mug is a handled mug that has Care Foundation with a big lion. It's etched right into the front. This is this is literally a reverse fursuit. <laughs> I think I'll go I think that I would hulk through that thing. I don't know. I think I heard an opening bid of 70. 75. 80. 85. 100. I have one hundred dollars. Don't let that scare you off. One twenty-five. One twenty-five. One twenty-five. For the Care Foundation mug, which is a beer mug, I will have you know, and the reverse fursuit. One thirty. One thirty. I have one hundred thirty. One forty. I have one forty. One hundred forty. One seventy. One seventy. One seventy. Uh, Alkali Fox was wearing that, you know. <laughs> tastes like shirt. Tastes like shirt. I was gonna say, maybe it should taste like scotch. <laughs> Sorry, I have 170. It just didn't work. I have 170. I got it. And like I said, we're on. on uh, 200. I have 200. I have $200. $200 for the reverse fursuit and the mug with the lovely lion on it. I have 200. 225. 225. I have two twenty-five. I have two hundred twenty-five dollars. The Care Foundation mug and the reverse fursuit. I have two twenty-five. I have two twenty-five going once. Two hundred twenty-five dollars going twice. So two hundred twenty-five dollars to number three four three five zero. Three four three five zero. Uncle Kai, yes. very special item coming up. But you've been in the furry fandom a very long time. You've seen lots of furry items. Yes. I can guarantee you this is one you have never, ever seen. I don't know about that. I, I can guarantee it because this item is McKenna's Lullaby, written by Vixie Fox for her granddaughter. The story, which takes her and the reader into her world, comes with a soundtrack by some of the most wonderful musicians in the furry fandom. I can guarantee Uncle Kagi has never seen this because this book has yet to go into publication. It soon will be. This is an advanced copy. The cover was done by the wonderful artist Rose, sometimes known as Lindsay. This is, right now, an advanced proof copy with the CD, with the, the uh, soundtrack of the musicians that will accompany the book. Yet, yet to be published, it is, right now, a one-of-a-kind donation. It was written by a furry for her granddaughter. And it is autographed, indeed. It is autographed. Yep. Like I said, this is a very special donation. We want to thank Rose uh, and Vixie Fox for making this possible. 
Again, nobody else in the fandom yet has this. You will have the one and only oh. copy out in the wild. It will be published soon, within the next year or two, but you right now will have the only copy of this story. Wait, what's that caption at the top say? <laughs> okay. You are correct, KP. I I had not seen it before. The cover art alone is breathtaking. Isn't it beautiful? Yep. Hey. Start showing it to the audience as well. I do. Walk it around. There you go. All right. I'm going to start the bidding at 50 for this. 100. I have 100. I have $100. I have $100. 125. 125. For this advanced copy, a wonderful story written for a cherished grandchild. I have $120. I have $120. I have $120. My goodness, after all that. Come on, come on. You, you, you're not going to find this in the dealer's room. $125. I have $125. I have 125. I have 125. It's a multi generational furry thing. It's written for someone's granddaughter. A furry for a furry granddaughter. 126. Oh. I heard 150, didn't you? That's what I heard. I heard 150. I'm going to hold him back while you edit that thing. <laughs> Would you like to try again? 130. 130. We love things divisible by five. Well done. <laughs> I have 130. I have 130. 150. 150. You see, you could have just started there and saved all that trouble. I have 150 dollars. I have 150. I have 150. I have 150 dollars going once. I have $150 going twice. Sold $150 to number 158. He got here early, didn't he? We have another t-shirt lot. We However, get a this, again. Yes, but this one has one 4X size and the rest are 3X. In this t-shirt lot, we have Yellow Curious George. We have a Citra brand clothing t-shirt, for those of you that love the Citras. A T-Rex Unstoppable, a Red Raccoon shirt, a shirt that says FA United, a Cowboy Raccoon, and a Green History Repeats T-Rex themed t-shirt. I want to point out that even if you do not have a way to wear this t-shirt, you can buy, very inexpensive, a shadow box at your local art store, and this then becomes a lovely piece of wall art. How cute this is. How much for the auctioneer? Uh, what? What just happened? That depends. <laughs> 5,000. Be careful. If you shout out numbers, I might actually hold you to them. You look at the screens, Narice is modeling some of these t-shirts on his arm. I wanted to hold this one because this one is just totally kick-ass. We're going to start the bidding at 50 for all these. 60. Ooh, lots of 50s. I have 55. 60. 60. I have 80. 85. 85. I have 85. 100. I have 100. I have 100. I have $100. These were also donated by Tony Ringtail, folks. If you know Tony, he made this donation. So you can see the theme here. <laughs> I have $100 for all of these t-shirts. 110. I have 110. I have 110. 120. 120. 120. I have 120. 125. 125. Do the alkali pose. <laughs> I have 125. $125 for all these shirts. $125 going once. $125 going twice. Sold $125 to number 2559. Thank you.
we need the resoder here to model the next item. Remember how we auctioned off tag number one of the uh -oh. first two ear tags? Uh oh, yes. This is the last ear tag. This is tag number 850. Ooh. So you will be getting the last numbered ear tag for fursuiters. You don't have to be a fursuiter. If you want to put it on your ear, you can. It might be a little painful yeah, to I do so, but you are welcome to if you want. Just don't scream at us if you do. Yes. And again, but this was offered by Wonderdog. This is the last numbered ear tag with the highest number, number 850. $150. 150. Wow. Okay. We have 150. We have $150 for the last, the final ear tag of Make Flex 2021. We have $150. We have 150. We have 150. 150, don't let him scare you off like that. 150. I have 150 going once. 150 going twice. Sold $150 to number. For our next item, how many gamers do we have? How many people like playing games? We have a furry themed game that has been donated. It is called Fuzzy Mage Fight. In a world where everything is fuzzy and magic is the only thing that matters, fight to become the most magical fuzzy mage ever. This is a card playing game. Uh, Kage, if you'd like to take this over for someone else to hold, this is the basic starter box. However, you will be getting game mats and expansion packs that come with this, so you will have a fairly complete way to play fuzzy mage fight. The, uh, the artist who did the cover, is that who I think it is? Let me take a look here. It very well might be, because that art style is so familiar. Which of these cameras? That one, that that one right there that you are approaching. Which just got live. turned off. Yeah, it should be live shortly, because they're panning the room. Come back to the spotlight on the items camera on the right side of the stage. Please, there, there we go. Am I imagining you? Is that Silver Fox artwork? Yeah, that looks like that. Okay, I thought well, so. Maybe. It's like all of a sudden this thing is like you know quadrupled in value. <laughs> Holy crap! It's actually a silver card. Yes, oh. that is actually there is actually Kickstarter exclusive content in this package. The only way to get this content was to be a part of the Kickstarter program that has been included, along with some playing mats. Okay. Very cool package. You get the entire deal. We're gonna start the bidding at fifty. I have a hundred. Ninety. I have 100. 100. That's 100. I have what? 100. <laughs> no, no, I said 100. He said 90. That's less than okay, 150. We, we figured it out. <laughs> 150. Math. Just no. How, how does math even work? We have 150. 170. 170. 170. 180. 200. 200. 210. 210. I have 210 for the entire lot. I have $210. Art by Silver Fox 215, I heard. I have $215. I have $215 for the entire game set. 220 now. I have 220. And it comes in a Wakeman's bank. Wow. I have $220. And a Wakeman's bag. I have $220. I have 220 going once. Two and a quarter. 225. I have 225. Wakeman's bag is what did it. I have 225. 240. 250. 250. Boy, the Wakeman's bag really did it. We should have just had that separate. We have 250. 260. 260. $260 for the Wakeman's bag with some stuff in it. We have $260. $260. I have $260. I have $260 going once. $260 going twice. Sold $260 to number... 2096. 2096. Thank you. Uncle Kage, at this point in time, we would like to ask everybody, who has been enjoying Megaplex 2021? 
like to own a very special item only available at one time to commemorate Megaplex 2021. Ooh. The next item up for bids is going to appear on our large screens. It is not in the room, however, we will get it to you. It's here in the convention. It is the Megaplex 2021 commemorative poster. It is identical to the posters that go into the Megaplex archive. It is used for closing ceremonies. There is only one other poster like this. One is for closing ceremonies, one available in this auction. It is 24 inches by 36 inches. The artists who did the work are Jen Whitmore and Foxina. This is the poster that is used to close Megaplex 2021 and reappears at closing ceremonies each year at closing ceremonies thereafter. And when can they, they can get it after closing ceremonies? Uh, no, uh, they can get with Blitz because it's kind of in a protective area uh, because it's with the also the one that's going to be used at closing ceremonies. They will get with Blitz, he will arrange to get it. It is here at the convention, Got just not in this room for protected reasons. Okay, so a piece of Megaplex history that you can take home after it is released from the protection of Blitz. We're starting the bidding at twenty dollars. One hundred dollars. One fifty. What? Three hundred. Three hundred. We have three hundred. We have three hundred, but I sense we're not finished yet. Three hundred for this incredible piece of Megaplex history that you see right there on the screen. Three fifty. Three fifty. We have three fifty. Was, was that you or him? Him. <laughs> we have three fifty. This will be a memento of the first U.S. convention that happened post-pandemic. You can and say you were there. You can. This is indeed the, the reopening of furry fandom. And I just want to take this opportunity to say Woo! they did a damn fine job at it. Also remember, every, every item you buy is a donation to the CARE Foundation. So you are actually giving money to CARE to take care of Ginger and Loki and Chimera and all the little critters out there. I have $350. I have $350. I have $350 going once. Megaplex history. I have $350 going twice. So, $350 to number 2088. <clears throat> Quick aside, by the way, speaking of furry history, after the first Care Foundation auction that I did lo many years ago, I was invited back to the Care Foundation and was introduced to uh, one of their uh, star players at the time, Kache, who I believe is no longer with us, gone the way of all things, but he was a full-blooded Florida Panther, and I was actually privileged to be allowed in to, to meet him. And, and Kache, we hit it off right away. Kache liked me. He liked me a lot. <laughs> he really liked me. And this charming young lady over there, I saw her eyes kind of widen, and she said, okay, you better hold still. And I said, oh, I, I don't think I could move right now. So she had a, a word with Kache and explained to him that this relationship really had no future and, uh, you know, dissuaded him. And she looked a little embarrassed and she just kind of laughed a little and said, oh boy, we, we probably could have filmed that and put it on the internet and sold it. I said, oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Okay. Yes, yes. Before we go to the next item, there's one yes. other thing we have to mention to you, because there's somebody that donated something to the Anthrocon charity auction, but we're going to offer people an opportunity to take a photograph of it for $5 donations at the end of the auction. Okay. Uncle Kage, does this look Holy mother of sh This <laughs> is a super sponsor medallion from Albany Anthrocon 1998. It still exists. There is still one that it exists. This was donated by an actual attendee of Albany Anthrocon 1998. Wants it to go into Anthrocon's charity auction. However, because there are so few of these, no, very few people have ever seen these, since I can't auction it off here, we can take little donations if you would like to take a picture of this afterwards before it goes to Anthrocon's charity for donations. Those $5 donations will also go to CARE. 
However, I thought you might get a kick out of seeing something from the convention when he turned from guest of honor into the chair. I know, it, it's causing me to have like Vietnam flashbacks just <laughs> looking at the thing. But anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that later, but I thought you'd get a kick out of that. <laughs> Our next item up for auction, yeah. it was donated by the D&D group last night. They held the D&D panel. This is a the SS Megaplex like cruise ship with little D&D figures and a mask and all kinds of fun things that can go with it. It was custom made. Has little figures. They wanted this to go into the charity auction, so we are auctioning it off. Alcohol, I can probably talk about a little bit more. Boy, can he? You need this? Nah. For any DMs out there, what we are holding here is your traditional grid ship with multiple layers, masks for rope. I'm going to hand these to you. Thank you. When you want to torture your PCs with a multi-layered adventure that they will hate you for, this is the ship for you, kept empty on the inside to put in your own props, make them go through four layers of hell, burn the ship to the ground, and see if they have a water-breathing spell. And enough lifeboats for approximately 25% of the passengers. <laughs> Yes. But Indeed, all the way from White Star Lines. It does say SS Megaplex on the side, so it's even worse. Oh. It's Megaplex. It's Megaplex. It's great. All right, but well, we're going to start the bidding off on this. Uncle Kage, what do you think would be an appropriate price for this wonderful artifact? We already had one bid 50. 55. Uh, I heard 100 over here. I have 100. If it helps change your bidding, there are also four, five hand-painted miniatures from the adventure last night. A lizard man, a cobalt-style thing, a very sexy mage, and a very fat orc that might or might not represent me. <laughs> uh, the captain of this. I was definitely not the captain. And it, it, it looks like the it, it looks like the cobalt is bogarting uh, collapsible A there. <laughs> I have one, and the captain is in. <laughs> okay, he's ready to take off. Yes, he is. We have one hundred dollars. How much? One twenty. One twenty. I have one twenty for this multi-level adventure. I have one hundred twenty. I have one hundred twenty dollars. You'd like to see it closer? Call for it. I'll put on my mask and come to you. This is quite imaginative. This is so cool. Yo, how high were you when you came up with this? This was not, this was the team that was there. He's incredible. Okay. This is Waffles. Waffles did not well, Waffles came up with this. Who wanted to see it? We have $120. $120 for this multi-level dungeon. <laughs> I have $120. I have $120. They're trying to follow me. <laughs> I have $120. I have $120 going once. 120 going twice. Sold, 120 dollars. Did I hear a bit try to come in? 2209. Two, uh, oh, 2209, sorry, okay. Phew. Yes. Where did we get? I, sorry. It was uh, 120 to number 2209, if I recall. 120 to 2209. Thank you, yes. guys. Give them a round of applause. Oh, lost. That's okay. I'm going to have the last item donated by Illuminated Cyberware. Oh. For those that missed out on the wooing license and the mewing license, the only matched pair. Ooh. They were designed to be sold together. This is a license to a woo and a license to mew. $100. But this is for both. So the starting bid is $100 for both of them together. They, do, they can illuminate. They have the Megaplex logo on them. There are, after this, no more items from next year's Guest of Honor. Illuminated Cyberware will be featured as next year's Guest of Honor, and these were gifts from them to help everybody know that they are on their way from Leicester. Leicester. Leicester, England. I'm sorry, how much was that bid? Hold on. How much? Five zero zero. We have 500. For both. That's $250 a piece. That's still less than what the first two went for each. We have $500, and we do indeed have them as a matched set. The wooing license and mewing license. We have $500. Five 
$500. Oh, he wants to see, he wants to see them, that's fine. 600. We have 600. Okay, we have $600 for the match set. The mewing and the wooing. We have $600. $600 for both. We have 600 going once. 600 going twice. Sold 600 to number 2631. 2631. Thank you so much. All right, we're starting to, wind, starting to wind down just a little bit on the items. However, the next item up for bids is a fursuit. It is a partial fursuit. It is adorable. It came from Fennec Crafts. It's very colorful. Very, very cute. It does include a hand, uh, a head uh, rather, hands, feet, no, no feet, no feet, just hands, tail, head, and a balaclava, which will protect you when you are wearing it. Oh, I love baklava. Not baklava, balaclava. <laughs> if you try to eat a balaclava, you're not gonna taste it. It's not gonna taste very good. I was gonna say, I probably would taste it. <laughs> it depends on who's been wearing it. All right, this is a partial fursuit, brand new, tail, hands, and head from Fennec Crafts. We're going to start the bidding at 100. 150. 150. We're also going to get a partial for that much of a bargain, and it is done. 200. It looks so cute and adorable, but it's got a dueling scar. <laughs> I believe I have 200, do I? I have 200. I have 250. I have 250. 300. 300. That's a face that just says, I am winsome and adorable and I will mess you up. <laughs> I have 300. I have 300. 350. We have 350. $350. The head, tail, and hands. We have 350. 400. 400 now. We have $400. We have four. I'm sorry, I missed who the uh, first suit maker is. Fennec. We have four hundred. Four hundred dollars. Need to wake these people up. Four hundred dollars. I have four hundred going once. Four hundred going twice. Sold four hundred dollars to number two five five seven. Thank you so much for your kindness. We appreciate that. The next item up for bids on the price, no, not the price is right off, the Megaplex auction. We have another series of t-shirts, some of which are rare and cast exclusives, including a very rare Disney figment t-shirt, which will be shown shortly. The, yes? It's Pluto. The original. Mine, mine, I want it, I want it, I want it. I have to buy it. I'm, I'm not supposed to bid against, no. like, when I'm up here, but I, I want it. These are, oh, God, he's so cute. Um, these are a group of t-shirts, although one of them, the Figment one, is a cast exclusive. It, it, it is considered a rarity. It is not common and hard to find. So a whole bunch of these. I believe these are all also three extra large. Yes, they are. So they can fit if you don't want to wear them out and about. You can lounge around your home in the greatest of comfort. Oh, wow. This is from the great movie ride, by the way. This is a ride that no longer exists at Disney's uh, Hollywood Studios. We have the paint and dragon. There is an Epcot from Festival of the Masters. Look at how adorable Figment is. Oh, that's what's in his life. Yeah. No. This, okay, this is pretty breathtaking. Like, like KP said, these things simply do not exist anymore. You are right. not going to find them anyplace else. This particular one here is from Epcot's 50th anniversary with Figment on the Train of Imagination. Lots and lots of cool things here. This is from Epcot 35. I was there. It has Ep Figment on it. Lots and lots of cool Figment stuff for all the people who like dragons. Figment is the Figment of your imagination. That is what his actual title is. And he was a genuine drug trip, I'll tell you. <laughs> but there is a bunch of Disney shirts, some of which are quite rare, some a bit older. They are collector's items. They are beautiful in some cases. Some of them have genuinely great art. Look at this. Riders of the Flight. Or Riders of the Light, I'm sorry. 2016. Look at this shirt. 
Okay, okay, what do you think we could even begin to start a lot like this at? We would have to begin at $100, just because some of these, like I said, this is the only place you're ever going to see them. Yeah. Looking for an opening bid of $100. I have 100 in front. I have 100. 150. I have 150. I have 150 for all of these shirts. Is, is the Rock and Roller Coaster even still there anymore? Yeah, yeah it is. Okay. The Rock and Roller Coaster is, but uh, some of the other events, like the great movie, yeah. right, that is gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have $150. 150. 175. 175. Two. $200. I have $200. $200 for all of these t-shirts. I have $200. $200 again, true collector's items. And if you do not want to wear them, they can become fascinating wall art with the purchase, sold separately, of a shadow box. We have $200. I have $200 going once. $200. Going twice. Sold two hundred dollars to number two two zero three. And thank you. My arm is losing its blood. Did it? Did it? Heart is pain. Yeah. Woo. Do we have a lot of crafting people? People that like to do crafting in the audience? We have a craft supplies lot. Some people like to do a thing called needle felling. It's got like wool, and you make little things with it. It's lots of little colorful wool packets. This is it right here. If you like needle felling as a potential thing, felting, sorry, you go felting. Needle felling sounds like a jousting sort of thing. It does. Thing. But this include this kit includes, read this correctly, plenty of tools to get you started. 72 roving wool colors, 8 ounces of core wool, and a foam block to work on. So it is the beginning needle felting kit. Yes. Needle felting, not needle felling. Not needle felling. I just misread it. Yes, you could probably be arrested for trying to do it. They look like they have torture implements in there that might appeal yeah, to some This people. is for needle felling if you look at this thing. Oh my god. Yeah, you could murder somebody with that. This is going to make a very large tattoo. You can. Uh, do not put this into your checked baggage. I'm sorry, into your carry-on baggage at home. That, yes. <laughs> anyway, needle felting. Great to start. 20 needle felters out there, starting at 20. 30. 30. I have $30. $30 in front. I have $30 for the needle felting kit and or implement of crime. I have $30. It comes with another tote bag. That sold last time. Oh, yes, and this comes from uh, the SGA encourages you to be a green Mac something. It wants us to get drunk. That's it, that's it. Wants us to get drunk. We have $30. I have $30 for the needle felting and torture implement. I have $30. I have 30. I'm serious. Don't don't put that in your carry-on. They will take it. <laughs> I have $30 going once. $30 going twice. So, $30 to number... 1238. 1238. this is another collection from the Care Foundation. These are actually plush toys that were used by the animals during some rehabilitation. So as they were becoming happy and healthy, these were some of the toys that were used by various animals. You can see they're actually still in decent shape, but they are things that helped keep the animals in good spirits and in good shape. They are still in pretty good shape themselves, so somewhat. However, uh, these are toys that have been played with by wild animals and survived. I wouldn't say it survived. Um, it's got a black eye, and what the hell is going on here? There is a carrot fish that is, like, doing something with a unicorn narwhal horn on your head. It's starving to death. 
All right. So this is one of the last items from the Care Foundation. These okay. are things that were used for the rehabilitation of some of the wild animals. And one of them did get a black eye out of it, but other than that, still seems to be standing. So these not only help the animals, you can help them by giving them a new home. Maybe I should get it as a prop. Um, yeah, you can use them as a stage prop if you wanted to. You can. I think Alkaline wants to take that one. Ah, that's not <laughs> Okay, all three of these... What? Fifty. Start at fifty. We have fifty dollars for all three of these things which have been used as rehabilitative therapy for animals in distress. Like Alkali, apparently. It seems to be working. <laughs> we are at fifty dollars. And it is definitely working. He's happier already. We have fifty dollars. There's two others, you know. We have fifty dollars. We have fifty dollars for punch drunk Mickey and you know laid back iguana and then that thing. Yeah, go talk to go 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 talk to KP. Yeah, he'll he'll set you right up. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I have fifty dollars for all of this insanity. 75. I have seventy-five. No, don't. I have, don't. I have hold, seven. On, hold on, wait a minute. Start approaching. Narwhals, narwhals swimming in the ocean. Now you got the lyrics. I've got to go awesome. Narwhals. Well, Alright, <laughs> 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 we still have seventy-five dollars as the bid. Seventy-five? The old gypsy woman set the stone up. <laughs> seventy-five dollars going. Boy, I think I'm still drunk from last night. $75 going once. Huggy, you're only drunk if you see a carrot narwhal coming out at you. <laughs> $75 going once. 90. 90. I have 90. 100. I have 100. Thank you for supporting the critters. Indeed. 100 for the carrot narwhal, for the laid back iguana, and punch drunk Mickey. We have 100. We have a hundred dollars. We have a hundred dollars going once. We have one hundred dollars going twice. <laughs> Thankfully sold for a hundred dollars to number two six five nine. Two six five nine, and thank you. We're getting these off this page. Uncle Kage, we are down to the last five items oh, okay. in the auction. The next item on for bids is the last furry mystery box in the convention. They are out in the dealer's room. They donated two. This is the last one. It has a size rating of double extra large uh -huh. for whatever is in the furry mystery box. And you suppose this one might also have a t-shirt in it? It has a t-shirt. You think so? It, it might have something else like double extra large, like, oh, I don't know, a hat. Or it could be like one of those double extra large coffee cups that you see, you know, at the at the the airport stores. Or a yeah. bad dragon dildo. We don't know. We're starting the bidding at fifty dollars. I don't know what that is, Coggy. Explain it to me. <laughs> I'll show you. A picture. Find it. It's in there somewhere. I'll show you a picture. No, you will not. All right. Where's my phone? This is the last furry mystery box at the convention. It does have a size of two XL. So if there is a T-shirt inside or like wristbands or anything like that, it will be a 2XL. So we're looking for an opening bid of 50. 50. I have 50. 250. 250. Oh. I have 250 in a voice that I could hear. I have 250. 250. Don't worry, we still have many, we have four more fantastic items. 258, Save. KP. There's yes. a picture door over here. There is? Yeah. Ooh, awesome. Hold on. 250. <laughs> I have 250. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> I have 250. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Uh, no hablen español, lo siento. 
Por favor, manténgase alejado de las escaleras. Uh, eh, sí, uh, el, el taco grande. Uh, las cucarachas entran, pero no pueden salir. Uh, sí, sí. Uh, you know what that means, right? Un, un gordito, por favor. Los cucarachas entran, pero no pueden salir. Means cockroaches check, check in, in, but, but they, they don't, don't check out. out. At least he knows that much. For some reason. Arriba! We have two hundred fifty dollars. I have two fifty. Who had that two fifty bid, by the way? That powerful voice. Two fifty. Yes, two fifty. I have two hundred fifty. I have two hundred fifty. Two fifty is going once. Two fifty is going twice. Sold two hundred fifty dollars to number. Vice Chairman of Megaplex. That is an incredible badge number, isn't it? All right, the next item up for Vince Kagi is a little different. It's for people who are technical but run out of power on their cell phones and other devices. It is a Megaplex, the uh, all aboard themed power battery with a little charger and also the last remaining super uh, uh, mega sponsor giga sponsor beach towel gift yes yeah they're both the uh, super sponsor slash giga sponsor mega sponsor the big the super dollar the super dollar thing. people who gave us lots of money got yes this. but this is the battery pack which you can use when you're traveling to other conventions and show that you were at Megaplex 2021. And you have the towel, so when you want to come out of the shower or go to the pool, you can also carry with you and show that you were at Megaplex 2021. Uh, correct me if, if I remember this particular uh, type of battery pack. Mm -hmm. Is this the one where your charge level is indicated? By the paw print. Yes, yes. the little paw print has paw pad beans and they light up as the, the battery charges. Yes. Yep. There it is right there. There are three of the little beans that are lit up, which means it is three quarters of the way charged. Okay, for all of this. Turns off. Turns off. Yes. Okay. Keep the technology don't. Uh... <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what you're talking about with double extra large. I will show you a picture. It's a battery. It's a battery. We're starting for all of this. We're starting the bidding at fifty dollars. One hundred. That is. I have one ten. One forty. One fifty. It's 160, 175, 200, 200, 200, how much? 300, I have 300, I have 300 dollars, 300, I have 300 dollars, I have 300 dollars going once, Three hundred dollars going twice. Sold three hundred dollars to number twenty six fifty two. Uncle Kage probably knows exactly what this next lot is. This was donated by one of our guests of honor, Kyle Gold. This is the entire, and I do mean entire, out of position collection. Oh, by Brill, not by Kyle Gold. They're done by Kyle Gold, but donated by Brill, who is one of our uh, current but soon to be leaving Megaplex board members. He's retiring, but he decided to note this. This not only has the five main stories, it has the two bonus stories of titles and tales of the Firebirds. The story of Dev and Lee, Dev, that very wonderful tiger, and Lee, that outlandish fox. And their ability, their their escapades as Dev goes through the world football. A hundred dollars. Two hundred. Two hundred. I have two fifty. Two fifty. Three hundred. Three hundred. This is some very very heavy material, I'll tell you. Narice, you want to take that out of his hand? It would be nice. My back is breaking. There. Oh boy. Three hundred. I have three hundred. Three hundred for the entire collection. Are they? I don't know. Are they autographed? We'll find Kyle and make him autograph them for you if you bid enough money. <laughs> Actually, if it hits a thousand, I'll autograph him and just say it was from Kyle. All right. I have, was that, the, is it still 300 we have? 300, yes. 350? I got my own freaking echo. Shut up back there. 
So we are at 300, is that correct? Yes, 300. 300! I have $300, and I'm arguing it myself. I have $300 for the Kyle Gold Collection. I have $300. $300 is going once. $300 is going twice. Sold for $300 to number? 1904. 1904. <laughs> the next item up for bids is something that does not exist. Yet. Wait, why? Well, well, wait, what? What you are bidding on is the ability to give the chairman of Megaplex his badge name next year. It is the actual name that we will be printed on the Megaplex badges. This year, our chairman was given the name Boat. So he is not Scooby, he is not Mr. Chairman, he is Boat for the entire weekend. This particular... He's right there and he has Boat written on his badge with a lot of ribbons on it. You will have the ability to choose the chairman's name within reason, has to not be profane, within reason, but you can choose any comedic name of your choice that we will get to call our chairman next year. We're considering doing this for Anthrocon, however, so however, he is not happy about it, but we're gonna override him as a board. Um, <laughs> maybe. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Uncle Kage, you are auctioning off the ability to rename the chairman of Megaplex Next year. How much? Hundred dollars. Right Hundred dollars. Two hundred. Two hundred. <laughs> Three hundred. Wow. You're fired. <laughs> Three hundred. Freedom. Three fifty. If I were you, I would be nice to him. <laughs> Three hundred fifty. We are at Three hundred fifty dollars. By the way. Lost luggage. <laughs> Those of you who are bidding, do you have a name in mind? I'm curious. You don't have to decide it now. You don't have to decide it now, but I'm curious. We are at 350, if I recall. We are at 350. 350. To name our chairman. You know, you could always bid to keep the... You know, Ooh, honor. that's never been brought up before. Does yeah. the chairman want to bid? Nothing stopping you from bidding, boat. <laughs> then you could choose your own name. We're at 350. What? I would, but I'm a cheap prick. <laughs> he said, I would, but I'm a cheap prick. Oh, I, thought he said cheap, I thought he said cheap trick. <laughs> For the cheap prick? After 10, KP, after 10. $350. Going once. If somebody outbids the cat, I will give you the boat badge. Oh. Oh. $400. Four hundred dollars. Four twenty-five. Four twenty-five. Four fifty. Four hundred fifty. Four seventy-five. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Wow. Five hundred dollars. I have five hundred dollars. A thousand. A thousand. Whoa. Whoa. We have a thousand dollars. And Boaty McBoatface up there is starting to perspire. We are at a thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. Yeah, this ship is starting to sink. One thousand dollars. Going once. It's been an honor playing for you. One thousand dollars. Going twice. Have you met our new staff member? <laughs> Sold for a thousand dollars to goodness, number. Thank you. How much? Yes, one eight one seven. Why don't you take this over there and give it to me? One thousand dollars. Helping all the little critters that care. Yes. Yes. The next thing that we have is something of Egyptian origin. By the way, okay. uh, come talk with the. Uh, hang on. Yeah, come talk with Blitz after the auction. Sorry, 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 sorry. Back. All right.
Sorry. The next item is of Egyptian origin. It is an, a statue of Anubis. Oh, it's another nudist. Not a nudist. Oh. Anubis. Looks like a nudist. It is sealed. I kind of wish it was a nudist. <laughs> but it is a it is a sealed sculpture of Anubis. I have not actually seen this because it is still it's, shrink wrapped. It is shrink wrapped, and it's it's kind of mysterious, just like the god of the underworld himself. But there is a nudist and a nudist and a nudist. And, 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 a nude Anubis. A nude is, a jackal, thank you, there's a jackal in there. It's hard to see, if you'd like a closer view, call for me. It, it is hard to see, but it is a small statue of he who will uh, well, weigh your heart. Underworld. He will, yes, but after he weighs your heart against the feather of Bat. We have an opening bid of $20 for a nudist. 25. Uh, how much? 150. I heard 150. Wow, I have 150 for a nubis. Apu in the original language. I have $150. I have $150. I'll do this a little slowly. I have $150. $150. I have $150 going once. $150. For Ambu, going twice. Sold one hundred fifty dollars to number two five seven four. This is the last item that has been donated, Uncle Kage. Very fragile. We're going to let Alkali hold it. But it's very fragile. It's very fragile. Do you guys remember when you chose? Ginger Fox to be the fox that will appear during the care presentation where she was chosen to be here next year. This is a stained glass sculpture from Prism Tree Studios that resembles the lovely Ginger Fox, that is the red fox, who they are going, who care is going to try to bring here next year. This is a genuine stained glass sculpture. It will stand on its own upright. It is fragile. It is real stained glass. This is not like little plastic overlays on something. This is a stained glass art object. We are requesting that the minimum bid for this start at $75 due to the value of what it is in the dealer room. $100. I have 100 110 I have 110 120 We have a couple 120s. Did I hear 200 200 I have 200 the stained glass foxy. I have two hundred. Two fifty. Two fifty. I have two hundred fifty. If you look at it, she is smiling. Yes. It is a happy fox. This is the last item that was donated to the art to the uh, charity auction. I have two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty dollars with the smiling stained glass box. I have two hundred fifty dollars. 300. I have 300. 300 dollars. 350. We have 350. We have 350 dollars. We have 350. 350 is going once. She's smiling. She's smiling. 350 going twice. So 350 dollars to number 3203. 2203. Thank you. So that is all of the items that were donated by our wonderful staff and people that attended the auction. Yes. So I guess we don't have anything else to auction, do we? Well, there's maybe one or two or maybe I, yes. There is. Possibly. I don't have a list of them. What could it be? I'll make it up. You'll make it up? I'll make it up. All right. Well, Uncle okay. Kage is doing a surprise item that we have not been told about. Heaven help us. <laughs> You guys might have noticed this tiger stripe lab coat, which I have worn at every Care Foundation auction since they began. It's kind of the tradition. Uh, this was given to me by the Tiger Tribe dancers in further confusion, I guess about 16 or 17 years ago. I, I've worn it, as I said, at every Care Foundation auction. But I'm going to start the opening bid for the lab coat at $500 if somebody would like to take it off my back. Do I have an opening bid of $500? Yes. 
Remember, this is going to the Care Foundation. You're not necessarily just buying a wonderful piece of furry history. You are supporting the animals at Care. I can sign that. I'm looking for an opening bid of $500. If I don't get the opening bid of $500, I will throw it in and let the tigers tear it apart. <laughs> I am looking. I'll do that $500. Away. I have $500. I have $500 for the sweaty lab coat off of my back. <laughs> I have five, I thought that might get some extra bids because I know you people. I have $500. I I know it, 525, didn't I tell you? I have 525. $525 for the legendary tiger striped lab coat, which has been associated with Care Foundation auctions since the very beginning. I have $525. I have $525. Will I sign it? I would ruin it. No, I don't do that. You want me to? I can. You can sign it on the collar. I can sign it wherever you want. What? 600 I mean, hell, it'll be yours. I'll do anything to it you want, within reason. <laughs> Depending on how much money we get, though, the reason could be expanded. We have $600. 625 $625. I have 625 For the sweaty lab coat off my back, I have $625. You will be able to say you're the only person that has one of Uncle Kagi's lab coats. Exactly. $625. $625 for the Tiger Strike Lab Coat, going once. $625, going twice. Sold, $625. Might as well just come up here and pay for it, because I do believe that is uh, everything, isn't it? That is just about it. We're oh, just about for, it. waiting for Blitz to give me something. Waiting for Blitz. What was the badge number on that? Oh, I'm sorry, what was that badge number? She's going to pay for it. We'll, we'll get it. <laughs> So what we have left to do is just a little bit of accounting, because we have a total of what was just raised in this auction. How much? Yeah, so. What? Well, that's not enough. I'm just telling you. Oh, right, right, right. You, you, want, you want to announce that number? You should announce the number. Actually, Blitz, you're our programming director. And you were responsible for putting a lot of this shindig together, and you don't get enough credit. Why don't you announce the grand total thus far from the charity auction? Just from this charity auction, just the last two hours, we've raised over $9,260. $9,260 from the generous pockets of all of you fine folk, uh, I'm pretty sure CARE is probably going to be a little overwhelmed because they haven't had that kind of money coming in of late. Anybody wants to make another little small cash donation, they will take anything, even if it's a dollar. Remember, I do have the uh, 1998 Albany Anthrocon medal. If you'd like to take a photograph of it before it goes on its way to Anthrocon's charity auction, for a tiny donation of any amount, uh, I'll have it up here. You can come take a picture of it. Uh, but I am asking that you give a little bit of money to care if you do. I would appreciate that. Other than that, we want to thank you guys very, very much for supporting CARE. Megaplex, we really appreciate it. I think you guys can give yourself a much bigger round of applause. This is on you guys. Big round of applause for everyone here. I want to take a special opportunity to thank Uncle Kage for being our wonderful auctioneer. We're very glad to have him back. It's been a couple years since he's been here. So thank you, Uncle Kage. Thank you to Alkali for helping, to Narice, to Scrubsy, and everyone else who helped put this thing together. Uh, Kara is going to be taking the payments. If you want to come up and make a little donation of such, please feel free to do so. But thank you again, and we will see you guys later on during the convention. Thanks again, everybody.